the siren, man. What's happening out there? Not an attack, surely. Oh. My. God. We gotta go. It's been six months since the outbreak, man. I thought we were safe out here. Damn siren. Gotta get that off. This place. It's not safe. Hey Joey. You down there, man? Man. What the hell has happened to you? God. All that training. Joey? Joey. That siren. Joey. Oh man. Not you as well. Joey. Can't be. Sorry, brother. Gotta move. Fast. This place. It's overrun. How could this happen? We have guards, outposts. Everywhere. Man, it's just never ending. We gotta drive as far as possible. We gotta get out of here. So I only hope. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Swarm here, and we are starting a new run. So we are playing as Colin Huffman. We are a combat engineer veteran. So I added quite a few mods actually. I'm going to do a full mod list in the description as well as like a full rundown at the end of the video. So I wanted to put it at the start, but I wanted the little intro as well. So yeah, kind of a tough choice you got to make. But yeah, so we're a combat engineer veteran, slow healer, prone to illness, smoker, short-sighted, slow reader, desensitized with the veteran, a fast learner, lucky, and outdoorsman. So being a combat engineer veteran gives us quite a few extra traits. So we start with carpentry because we're an engineer, along with electrical, metalworking and mechanics. Also aiming and reloading's up. Sprinting just came with escaping the military base. And yeah, not bad. So since we're a military man, we also we did start with a bunch of bombs, but I didn't want them, so they are over in the woods somewhere, over there, just dumped. Got a nice little truck, as well as a handgun. So yeah, we're, we're off to a good start already. I'm going to put out the fire, grab all of this, take it with us, because we're on a 28 days later run. So yeah, it's going to be a hell of a journey, to say the least. It's going to be terrifying. I'm probably going to die very quickly. I'm not very good with runners. So I'm not too hopeful, but I reckon we can get a little bit out of it at least. But yeah, I think the plan is... Oh, thank God for that. So glad the battery is running. But yeah, I think the plan is sort of head up this way. Um, maybe stop off at one of the smaller towns. Like, go through, loot some side bits and... Yeah, just sort of go about... Each area, playing it very safe. But I think starting in the smaller bits are going to be our safest bet. But yeah, it should be, should be a good crack. So we're playing with the 28 Days Later mod. So it will be included in the list at the end. And yeah, it basically changes the look of so many things. So Zeds are no longer... They're sort of infected people rather than dead people reanimated. So the skins have slightly changed. Got a bunch of extra gun mods. Um, yeah, loads of stuff. It's going to be a great little run. I'm well excited for it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get to our next town. So I'll probably skip up there. It's a long old drive. Let's just hope we make it in one piece. Oh, now that's cool. I wonder if there's any good stuff. Don't really know how these work. But we have got a key for it. And a nice digital watch. I'll grab that as well. Oh, 
monster. Oh, I've already got one. Nice. Oh, <laughs> we can actually get in it as well. Call it a hand torch. That's going to come in very handy. Oh, I'll take the eraser as well. That will... Oh, that's cool. They've got a nice little loading for it. But yeah, that would just give me uh, give me the actual map on our map, which works perfectly for me. All right, let's keep moving. I'm going to get up to the top town, and we'll go from there. I might go down here, actually. Yeah, I think this could be the safer bet. So there's a nice little town down here as well, but... I think there's going to be less Zeds, so we're playing on a low population setting six months later and I just think that this could be the one. I'll leave the truck just there, we'll keep it as quiet as possible. Hopefully we can get a nice little generator mag straight off the bat. Nah, no luck. But yeah, so everything sprints. Everything is deadly. Very deadly. So I have changed the uh, infection thing, so we can only get infected by bites. Just going to make life a little bit more pleasant in the long run, I think. So it's so easy to get overrun and scratched to bits from these guys that it's not really worth having um, infections for. So it just makes the game near impossible. So if you can pull that off, I want to see it. <laughs> I really want to see that. Yeah, you're way way more of a way more of a survivor than me. Oh yeah, I've got military boots as well. I want to get some sneakers, really. But yeah, we picked up good old Joey's dog tags from the start. They're gonna be his uh kind of his grounding, I think, for his character. Kinda wanna put a bit of a backstory to this guy. So I've got a few ideas of how to implement it in, but we'll we'll see how it works out. So I'm not the best storyteller in the world. But I reckon I can pull something off. Alright, let's see if I can get in there. There's a nice little group down there that I kind of want to pull one at a time. So I'm sort of going to use um, fallback points a lot more in this run than I have in every, any other run ever. So it's going to be very back and forth, I think. Playing it safe, staying outside of towns, pushing when I need to push, and falling back as soon as things get a bit dicey. But yeah, it's gonna be a gonna be a tense little run, but I'm excited for it. Oh, sewing kit that could be very handy. I do have a bottle as well. A can opener would be good. A can soup. I think that's everything, more or less. At least down here, anyway. Come cool, on, man. Already jumping. It's worth it for the insulation, but not really for anything else. So I might just try and find like a compression share or something. They're pretty common. Some jeans would be ideal as well. Trade them out for this. But yeah, um, if you guys are new, any newbies here, welcome to the channel. So it's a new series, so I'm bound to get quite a few new faces around here. So if you're interested, um, make sure you subscribe. It tells you exactly what I'm posting, makes it easy for everyone. And yeah, welcome aboard. It's going to be a hell of a hell of a ride. If you haven't seen the old ones already as well, check them out. They're quality. Bunch of playlists over my channel. But yeah, that's uh. Let's crack on. You know, there are a lot of Zeds floating around here. So I think I've sort of got down three Zeds max. That's all I can deal with runner wise. So I'm hoping that we just don't get overrun too early on. It's not a bad idea. Wouldn't mind a hoodie instead, but say what I can have, whatever I can get my hands on. But yeah, it's going to be a very, um, very stealth-focused run as well. 
So you kind of need it in a place like this. Lovely. Kim and fella. Tell you what, I can't wait to get the Louisville. <laughs> so Louisville is going to be nuts with runners. But yeah, I think overall, plan is head straight to Riverside. I think getting to the top end of Riverside, into the, uh, what are they, like the trailer park bit? I reckon up there could be a good shout. There's a gun store right at the top of the map as well. Wouldn't mind checking out before, just because that guns are going to be a game changer this run. Hammer and saw already. Go then. A bunch of ferret lies enough and too exciting. Just need some more weapons, really. So I'm going to struggle big time. Kim and then Fella. I'll tell you what, I forget how peaceful the world is in this game. Music running. Just out in the wilderness, it's just nice. So I've been trapped in a city for so long that I've just, yeah, I've, I've missed this. I miss being out in the wilderness. So this, the, the original map on this game has just caught it perfectly. So I don't know if it's just me, but yeah, love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Especially this time of year as well. As soon as winter starts setting in, things just start snowing and getting that cool tone to it. It's so nice. But yeah, I should probably try to secure this house. I need some of the sleep for the night. Ah, it's a chicken coop. Nice. There's a house. But yeah, sneaking skill, a blade skill. It's going to be super important. And a sprinting skill, actually. So we were trying to get the fitness level 6 ASAP as well, if I can. It's always a good sign. Yeah, my fella. Make my life easy. Thank you, sir. Anyone floating around from? Nah, we're good. Oh, man. They're just so quick, aren't they? Scary, as soon as they start moving. All right, can we get another knife? A screwdriver, that'll do. So we've got a bunch of these casings as well. I keep seeing them everywhere. I really need to see what what they work with. Ah, that would do. Is that electricity as well? I've already got that. Ah, compression share. That's exactly what I was looking for. So I believe that's on a mod. Ah, oh, pen and the red pen. It's always nice to have multiple colours for your things. Breaks it up a bit. Lovely. I tell you what, I'm missing my uh, fanny pack already. Spent all that time giving them grief. I didn't realise how much I missed it. I'll grab all these tins for now. There's no harm. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night here, get some sleep, and we'll go from the morning. So I'll see you guys shortly. All right. We survived the night. No bangs. No issues. No dramas. 
So what we're going to do is, I'm pretty sure if I, so yeah, we've sort of come from down here. That's our original spawn. <laughs> Lovely. But yeah, we started about here. I'm going to head straight across, find the next few farms, and yeah, go go scout some things out. So I know there's a, uh, a bigger town just a little bit further down, and that's kind of where I need to be. So it's going to be our safest, safest looting opportunity. So I can't really remember what's there. I know there's a gas station, so we can probably get some extra fuel for our car. That's a shout, actually. I need to mark where that is. So I'm trying to keep trying to keep this as quiet as possible. Note. Um, v. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it as quiet as possible when I'm going in and out of towns just because I'm going to need it. So the more distance and things I can get from Zeds, the better. It's going to keep me alive, more or less. So I really need to find a way of training our aiming without being too close. Just because guns are going to be a game changer. As soon as I get to level 4, the uh, handguns are brilliant. Especially with a silencer as well. So they're gonna gonna be a game changer. I'm probably gonna speed up the trip over there. I'm trying not to sprint as much. <laughs> oh we got another little farmhouse just there. So that's gonna be quite a few of these, just sort of in between. Ah, a ton of Zeds as well. Here we go. Time for it to get dicey. Already. But yeah, the higher our sneaking skill gets, the better. I was going to make myself uh, like gracious or something, but kind of like the fear. Tell you what, these skins are cool though. Oh, pale, pale white. Here he goes, tripping over himself. Give him a fella. One at a time. Please. Cast two. There's two. Come on, go down. Lovely. Oh, there we go. Now for the last two or three. Yeah, I think why I kind of want to be out here is just because it feels nicer. So I feel like I can train my skills a bit better and learn how these runners work before we get into the city and get ourselves butchered. Ooh, come on. Excellent. Ah, come on. Oh, these skins are cool. Super cool. That's the last man. There we go. Beautiful. Shed's actually unlocked. And we got a gas can. Nice. Take that wrench. Maybe mark the gas can. That'll come in very handy. Get that in red. Nicer in red. It stands out a bit more. Right, how's the house looking? Quiet. Bit too quiet. But yeah, we've also got the toxic fog mod turned on as well. 
So not only are we going to have to deal with runners, we could end up trapped outside and just buried under toxic fog, basically, which I'm pretty sure can kill us. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming it can. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be super hard, <laughs> basically, just to summarise this run. Right, can we get any food? Then that pepper, that kitchen knife will also come in handy. Probably very soon as well. I can't see us having a lot of life left. Oh, it's actually all right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not going to force this guy to eat dog food. He's, he's a changed man compared to the last fella. <laughs> he deserves better. He's already got to deal with runners every day. Ah, oh, must be in the other room. Is that antibiotics? It might actually come in handy. Whoa. It's always a scary sign. Oh, I'm going to hold out in this building for even just a few minutes if I can. Yeah, this leaves these guys to it. Not dealing with that shotgun. I can bag with two attachments. Oh, I'll tell you what. What do those shell suits do? Nothing crazy. Not even that insulating. Grab that little bit of extra thread. Maybe I'll put it in there actually. Try to be a bit more organised this run. I mean, it won't last, but <laughs> we can try. Oh, notebook. Perfect. I think that could help with his backstory a bit. Be quite cool. Lovely. All right, let's keep on moving. Try to get over to the neighbours. I should grab a drink before I go as well. I still don't have a, a water bottle. Keep that closed, actually. At least that way I don't know if anyone's broken in. That's a hell of a group. Okay. Let's avoid that one. Swing through the fields, maybe. Ah, oh, nice flamingo. Definitely take that to a future house. That'd be cool. But yeah, so most of these doors are actually unlocked. So it's set to, it's usually set to all of them being unlocked, but I've put it on extremely rare, I think. Just to keep it a bit more. J just to add that chance, and basically it could be locked. We could end up stuck and dead, very dead. And where are we looking? Anything down here? Plenty of food. So I'm doing perfectly for food actually, and calories now. Take all the tins. Tins aren't really the best thing to go for, but it's nice that they don't decay. Still missing a water bottle though. Ah, those extra vitamins would do as well. Maybe a blue pen. Stock it all up. Now we'll have some food while we're here. And then keep moving. So I'm definitely getting closer to the town now. Definitely. Which is probably not a good sign. Do you know what? I can use a bleach bottle, can't I? Oh, look at that. Quite heavy, though. I'm thinking just keep going straight across the field. 
We'll get there eventually. I'm going to pull those out as well. So they are impossible to find in that bag. Check out this garage. Wrench. Saw. Propane torch. Metal bar. Do you know what I might... No, no, I'll pass. I'll leave it behind for now. And a shovel I can take, just as a last resort. I'm sort of trying to work out where I'm going to come into, but I really have no idea. It's been so long since I've been up here. Never actually seen it on the in-game map. It's been that long. It's probably a nice little farmhouse down there, but... I don't really like the odds. So I'm thinking just keep going this way. We'll play it as safe as possible for as long as possible. Sneaking's almost level one. Same with light footed. Sprinting's doing alright. So that's going to be our. What are they called? Kind of like our core skills. The ones that we need the most. Ones that are going to keep us alive. Stay well away from that group. A few stragglers here and there. It's definitely going to be drawn, I'm telling you. Do you know what? I'm going to bring him over anyway. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Good lad. Don't know how much further we've got to go. Can't be too far. Surely. I'll get a bit quieter down there. So that's the trouble with these fields, there's so many blind spots, you never know what's waiting behind the trees. Ah, there we go, there's a road. Can't be too far off. Do me a favour, game. Please keep me alive. No town close. We're going to go straight into it, I think. Which is pretty terrifying. So on the plus side, I do have my campfire and tent in the bag. So I've got those to fall back on if need be. Oh, I love this song. It's so nice. So peaceful. A few more farm fields. Tell you what, we'll get moving a bit faster. Might check out this farmhouse actually. Lovely. Don't know how far up it's going to go. Uh, do you know what, this might be the last one before the town actually, I'm pretty sure this follows the same road as the rest. So it's like a big, big corner loop. Which is not called a loop, it's just called two corners. <laughs> I'll dodge that field. Sort of a few dotted about in there as well. So it might be worth trying to loot these fields actually. Do the old... Uh, yeah, this mode. Oh, no way. Pick up pinecone. That's so cool, isn't it? Grab that branch as well. Oh, I love it. That can actually do us wonders. I wonder what we can do with a pinecone. Just drop it, I guess. A nice big house there. 
There's foraging. Ah, it doesn't do much, does it? It's still cool. What have we got? Big stone. Oh, we used to get... There we go. I was going to say, we used to get points for picking things up as well. Ah, oh, chipstone. Even better. That's cool. I'm definitely going to use foraging more in this run. So I did want to in the last one, but it's so hard trying to forage in a city. So you can't really, uh, can't really go anywhere. But the best you'll get down there is fishing. So it's right next to the river, which is perfect. Didn't make the most of it, but yeah, it definitely comes in handy. All right, let's try and get in this place. I might have to pick off these sets before we call it a day. But we'll see. I might get lucky. That was a scary noise. Ah, oh, nice. We have one coming right behind us. Thank God, open the door. Tell you what, I do love the textures on these guys. They've got like a weird, weird veiny look to them. It's so cool. Wasted. Waste of a battery. Melted ice cream. That can probably be dinner. Uh, marinara cereal. So I'll probably get through some food in there. But yeah, I think. Now this place is fairly safe. Let's go out these last rooms. Close that curtain, so that's probably where we're going to sleep. Ah, nice. Nice new battery. So I'm probably going to end up having to do quite a bit of night work, so you can... You're sort of a bit more hidden at night. You can't really see as well, but... You can sneak about more, which is... Yeah, it's perfect, really. But yeah, I think... This is where we're going to have to call it. So yeah, um... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Many. Like, subscribe if you did. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace. Alright, so as promised, the sandbox options we've gone for for this run is a 28 days later custom one. So we've gone for a low zombie count. Six months later, all of these are pretty standard six months except for darkness during lights, which is dark. And we have very low initial gas station amounts, so I want to make it as tough as possible. These are all pretty standard. Oh, we've only got one helicopter. I'll fix that. <laughs> uh, 108 hours before corpse removal. Normal ammo. Just to make it a bit more exciting gun-wise. Injury severity is high. Um, I think that was everything from there. Locked frequency is extremely rare. Instead of never. General conditions, very low. Sliver only transmission, speed, sprinters, weak strength, which is standard for six months. Environmental attacks are on. Zombies can trigger house alarms and drag down is off. Advanced law is no response. And two times multiply instead of one. So yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a hell of a ride. I am very excited for it, as well as very scared, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a good crack either way.